we have reached Mumbai. It was a long journey. We were on road for 12 to 13 hours, but it has been absolutely worth it. Um, we reached our hotel. It was an absolutely gorgeous. It's three o'clock right now, so we will probably take some rest. We'll probably have a meal or something and um, get ready, change, and then go out and probably visit a beach or something. We're all excruciated today by the journey. So we won't be going places which are like too far away. We are currently in Goregaon. So we'll see what places we have nearby. So we were just, um, you know, checking out and we saw that Juhu is about 12 kilometers from here. So we will go and check out Juhu today and uh, all the nearby areas that we can spot today. And then we will have tomorrow, which is fri um, Friday and then Saturday. And then Sunday for us a morning time we will have. So we'll see how much can we explore. But for right now, I'm going to go change. I'm going to go um, get dressed up for us a rest. And I will see you people in a while. Okay, so this is the place where we are going to be staying. It's going to be our room, which looks absolutely surreal. This is going to be the room where we're going to stay. We're going to stay in Goregaon. Waise. Let me give you a short tour. This second room because there's four people, so it's taken two rooms. Okay, so I did not tell you guys where are we guys staying. So we booked this apartment or kind of like a uh, two rooms bungalow sort of a thing with the help of this website called HS. Um, luxury define and the quality of the room is like good in my opinion it's nice um i've already shown you how the room looks like so we're gonna go take some rest and then we'll get ready and we will go and um you know just travel the mumbai roads see you then all right everyone so we're stepping out we're all ready hum ja rahe abhi filhal goregaon social and we'll see where do we go after that because we're all starving um, yeah. We're famished, so we'll eat something and then head out somewhere else. So I'll see you then. So I just came back home. Um, we went to this place called Oberoi Mall, where we went to Koregaon Socials. And uske baad we took a random stroll on the roads, post which we went to this Pau Bhaji uh, corner, which was called PS Pau Bhaji. We tried the local Pau Bhaji in the Vada Pau, which is like a delicacy of Mumbai. So we tried all that. Um, we were super tired because of Nikle was late. Yeah, say we left at about 6 37 ish, and then we were at social and we were like super hungry. So we had food at social, and then uske baad time. Um, we could not explore a lot of other areas Aj. Um, but we are all super tired so we will probably take some rest I want to explore all these amazing places like Kolaba, Kala Ghoda I really want to visit all these places see how it looks like I have been fascinated by these areas so very much um, so of course I will be going at all these places Kal and Perso will plan how do we want to go about that and then Sunday we go back to um, uh, Hyderabad so we have two days to sort of visit as many places as we possibly can and yeah I went to the mall today uh -huh. I went to the sold store ka, uh, showroom and I got this t-shirt for myself now I will yeah, I will uh, I'll see you all tomorrow and I will take you all with me where, as and when I see Mumbai tomorrow so stay tuned for that hi guys so it's day two in Mumbai or as I like to call it Bombay and we are heading out to Gala Ghoda Today's agenda is to visit Kala Ghoda and all the nearby, you know, galleries and synagogues and all of that stuff, which is pretty much popular over there. So we'll visit that. And after that, the agenda is also to visit Gateway of India towards the evening. So we'll see how much can we conquer today. Um, it's 11.30 right now and we're stepping out. So I will take you all with me and super, super, super excited to actually visit Kala Ghoda. I've heard so much about it. I was recently... In fact, last night I was watching vlogs about Kala Goda and all the areas that you can visit over there. And uh, of course, we're not in February, so we cannot attend the art festival that is popular. But we will, of course, otherwise just take a stroll on the roads, um, go to some cafes, see all the popular spots and of course get pictures clicked. So I'm going to take all of you with me. So let's go and get out. Quick check real quick.
the third day in Mumbai and we're all ready. We're gonna go and check out the shopping uh, streets of Mumbai and of course get some shopping done. We had a great day yesterday. We started off with Kala Ghoda, then we went uh, to Marine Drive, then we went to Gateway of India, which was exceptionally crowded yesterday. We had a really great day yesterday. So we'll see what is in store for today. Today we get plan to get some shopping done and you know explore the streets of Bombay, um, explore some local foods and all of that. Uh, of course, I'll take you guys with me. Let's get going. and we are leaving it's almost 12 o'clock and we are gonna leave like in 10 15 minutes and it has been the most amazing three days of my life um i can easily say that i have been loving bombay i have been mentioning that in my instagram stories as well that i could do bombay for life because mumbai is simply 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 amazing i love the vibe love the city love all the things that we saw here yesterday we went to juhu job party and we spent quite a lot of time there we spent entire evening there we just uh, went on the uh, you know we just walked the shore we had lots of good food and of course we had to dip our feet in water as well and that was so therapeutic i could do that all my life so i simply loved what we did yesterday and we did some shopping from Kolaba as well um but yeah that was all about yesterday uh and uh, today we're gonna be leaving i'm gonna check out in the next 10 to 15 minutes my voice is really sore because we have been having so much fun that was all for this particular trip i am so sad that it's ending to be honest because i don't want to leave bombay i, I feel like i should have been bombed as a mumbai car as they call it because um yeah it's absolutely fascinating absolutely fascinating up to i thought ki no city can you know beat the magic of delhi but bombay mein do din rehne ke baad i'm like nahi nahi bombay is bombay so yeah that's 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 the vibe that i got from mumbai i am loving it loving it absolutely loving it and I think sabko hi bahut pasand aaya I'm so glad that I took this trip and also I've also uh, realized that uh, traveling in general is making me so ecstatic and happy I never really thought of traveling as something that I will personally enjoy this much because I to be honest I didn't travel a lot when I was in college like I saw a lot of my friends taking trips but I never did that I never took you know uh, that, those many trips in college I mean I did a couple but not as much as my other people other friends did so now I am I understand I understand the value of it I realize why people say traveling is so crucial specifically in your 20s um so I'm going to do this more often and I'm going to share or uh, share the details of that more often as well I will see you when I reach back home and then we'll chat about that later so till then see ya